In this tutorial, we're going to go over all of the options available in the Options tab of the Ultimate Product Catalog plugin, and we'll demonstrate a couple of the most popular ones. Starting with the basic options available to all users, at the top of the list, we have Catalog Color, which changes the color of a number of elements in the catalog, such as the tabs to switch layouts and the bar across the top of the plugin. The next option is Product Links, which opens the Product Details view into a new tab or window instead of the, in the current one. Read More inserts the words Read More at the end of the Details view for product descriptions which are longer than the number in the Characters in Detail Description option. Product Page Price puts the product's price on the product page for the default product page layout. Subcategory style defaults to normal, which puts categories and subcategories separately into the catalog sidebar, while hierarchical puts subcategories underneath their parent category in the catalog sidebar. Custom details icon lets you upload a file to replace the default icon that goes beside the word details on the catalog page. For filtering type, a recommended option is to stick with the Ajax filtering. While JavaScript is also available for filtering within the page, it is not supported by our team. Case insensitive search is only supported by the Ajax filtering option. Tag logic means that when a visitor selects a number of tags from your catalog, they'll either be able to see all the products where any tag is applied for or logic, or only products where all the selected tags are applied for and logic. Product search sets which fields are searched when a visitor types text into the text search area. For name only, just product names are searched. For name and description, both the name and description are searched. For name, description, and custom fields, each product's name, description, and all custom fields are searched for the text that the user enters. Depending on the number of products in your catalog and the number of custom fields you have, selecting this option can result in performance issues. Next, content filtering is generally a good thing for your products, unless HTML tags are being added or stripped from your product descriptions. Maintain filtering uses a hidden form to maintain the selected sidebar options when a user visits a product page. It requires JavaScript and will interfere with any fancy boxes or other JavaScript being used when a product is being clicked, so it can be a good option to switch while debugging if you're experiencing display issues when a product is clicked. Moving on to the premium options, the most used one is the Pretty Permalinks feature, which lets you set a custom product URL for each product. Make sure that your product's lug is set when using this feature, and that it doesn't contain any spaces, or else this option will make it impossible to view product details. The XML sitemap URL creates a sitemap of all the products in the catalog for SEO purposes. The sitemap will be created at whatever address you enter into the text box, and you'll need to link it from your main sitemap for it to work correctly. Custom Product Pages lets you create your own page layout on the Product Pages tab, which you can then set to display instead of the default Product Details page for all visitors. If you select Yes, or for visitors on large screens if you set Large Screen Only. Selecting this option if you haven't created a layout can result in a blank page for your visitors. Products per page and pagination location are both used to split your catalog into a number of different pages instead of one long one. Product sorting lets you control which fields your visitors are able to sort based on. This is the drop-down box that appears at the top of the sidebar, and setting this option to none will hide the drop-down box. Custom Slugs Conversion lets you use the slug for a custom field to display the custom field's value for that product in the product description. Again, this can result in performance issues if set to yes for long catalogs. Related Products lets you display a number of related products for each product, either by manually entering the IDs of the products that you want displayed as the related products, or by letting the plugin set the related products automatically based on each product's category, subcategory, and tags. Next slash previous products lets you set a next and previous product for catalogs where visitors may be interested in browsing through a number of products sequentially, similar to related products. Set access role lets you select which users are able to access the plugin menu. However, once this option is set, users of that level will be able to set this field as well, so it should be used cautiously. The last four premium options, product page grid width, product page grid height, top bottom padding, 
and right and left padding let you control the size of the boxes and the spacing between them on the product pages tab. These can be used to help give you smaller building blocks for your pages or to put more buffer between the elements. The next set of options are the labeling options, which let you switch a number of labels for the different elements of the catalog on the front end. You could, for example, call your categories product types instead, if that makes sense for your catalog. Most of these options are pretty self-explanatory, but a couple of the plugin users have trouble finding are the product name label, which lets you switch the label above the text search box in the sidebar, and no products found label, which lets you display a message when there are no products found based on a visitor's filtering setting in the catalog sidebar. The final option group is Display Options, which lets you switch between different catalog style sheets depending on how you want different catalog elements to display. This builds in a number of different styles depending on your theme and preferences so that you can switch your website styling more closely. Check out the plugin page on our website for additional information or subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with future tutorial videos for this and other plugins.